dog reportedly attacked the girl's face yesterday in Adams County. People we spoke to indicated this girl was not the first vic victim, and they say if something's not done, she may not be the last. Tammy V. Hill has the story you will see only on Fox 31 tonight. Four-year-old Ariana Aragon is sore and swollen. Twenty stitches cover her face, where a neighbor's dog bit her in a bedroom yesterday. All of a sudden, her son and her come running back to my house, bleeding, all full of blood. My daughter has bite marks all over her face. Jessica Aragon says she told the neighbor she didn't want the dog around her daughter. She told me that it was okay that that dog would be uh, retained in a different room as, um, from my daughter. But the little girl apparently walked in that room. My son said, why did he bite you? And she said, because I laid on him. Sit. The dog's owner, Phil's buddy, got scared. But it's not the first time the Beagle Dachshund mix has attacked a child. It also happened last year in the family's backyard. We felt like there was a reason he did it. He's been a family dog for, at that time, four years. We just, like I said, this time we decided twice is too many times. So now the family says it will give up the animal and it will likely be destroyed. It's an outcome that's hard for the family's children but they say it's the right thing to do. Oh, I feel awful, absolutely awful. I would never want this to happen. I mean, it breaks my heart. But Ariana's parents wonder why it had to come to this, why Adams County allowed the family to keep a dog who had attacked before. One bite and you're out. They say that's got to change. As bad as my daughter looks, something could be done about this. The Adams County Animal Control has quarantined the dog at the family's house for 10 days, but we are told they will likely pick up the animal on Monday. Deb?